What's up deckers welcome to another Steam Deck news video in today's video SteamOS just got a huge update called pipe wash that brings a lot of improvement to the Steam Deck gameplay and performance so let's break down all that comes with this so to get started let's start with general and again I'll list some of these fixes here but I'll post it up here so you guys can actually see all that comes with this so as you can see in general fix the black screen when launching for the horizon 4 fix an issue where modifying sense in the desktop partition manager also fix the an issue in the desktop mode where dropping the folder and desktop will create a shortcut for every item within the folder it fixed some crashes as well for the steam deck again fix some wi-fi issues here so a lot of fixes here again i'll post it down here so you guys can see these changes and again i'll post the change log in the description so you guys can see it as well but again this is rapid fire just want to highlight some of the changes here for you guys so when it comes to performance here multiple performance improvement for persona 3 it fixed the performance overlay displaying gpu clock speed it fixed an issue with game frame presentation also fixed some stuttering issues as well there's a lot here again just gonna list it on here you guys definitely check out the change log if you were interested in this one that catches my interest here in performance is that it fixed display sometimes getting stuck at 60 hertz after return from sleep on the steam ui so this is pretty neat and it's pretty cool to see them fix this one as far as graphics this fixed hdr and some external display port this also improved gamut mapping for hdr title on the steam deck oled and with this as well it did bring a lot of fixes to the steam deck and hdr titles again well highlight it here you guys definitely take a look at it if you were interested when it comes to the input it improved controller mouse and keyboard emulation when steam is not running it added support for hyperx clutch gladiate controllers it fixed the system restart when the Joy-Con controller is not connected and it slightly improved some corner tracking on the Steam Deck OLED and some fixes as well here. When it comes to firmware, 120 LCD and 107 for the OLED. It fixed several USB compatibility issues and for the developer mode, this changes the default USB mode back to XHCI host only. Again guys, just want to rapid fire this and not bore you guys to death, but as you can see here, a lot of changes with SteamOS for the Steam Deck. And with this, this should improve the performance overall on the Steam Deck. You guys let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts about this? Are you guys noticing any significant improvement on your Steam Deck with this update? Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, peace out.